Well, hey guys. I uh, just wanted to show you this. Everybody's seen them before, but this is the air assist system for the uh, Star uh, Lubricizer. And I finally purchased one of these. Let me raise the camera so you can see a little better. And prior to that, I had made my own uh, pressure system. It worked, but it started really giving me problems. It consisted of this unit here, which was the, the bottom of the spring unit. And there's the high car washer. I made a tailpiece for it so it would hold it straight into the uh, tube itself. Uh, that this is my old star that I don't have set up yet. This would go into the uh, bore of the tube like that and you would press it down. From there I uh, I made these units up here. This is the head cap, the stock head cap. I uh, found the right uh, coupler for that and then I put a regulator on it. And then you would add air pressure through this whole thing. But you were relying on compressed air to push this thing down. And what was happening to me was I was getting a little bit of blow by on this bottom here and the unit would get totally air bound. And it was uh, a very bad case scenario of bleeding out the uh, wax. It, it just took forever to do. So I finally knuckled down and bought the uh, production unit. That, you know, your, your, all your compressed air is in this cylinder here. Uh, so you're just relying on pressure at this point for this. Uh, there's a few things I'm going to change on this uh, that will make it better uh, for my application. And it might help some others too. But this is the way the unit came. Uh, it has a port on the top here and a port on the bottom so it's a dual acting cylinder it'll it'll push or pull in either case but i wanted these ports to face out so from there if you take the regulator off like this and try not to drop this sucker it's brand spanking new uh, okay take it off like that on this regulator they have a port on the back here you can take this plug out take this nipple off you can put the nipple on here and plug this side what that'll do for me is now when I put this on it'll put the port forward it'll put the regular regulator in line like that and the bottom port like that and you're asking why why do I want to do that? Uh, because I figured out with this thing, it'd be nice to know when you are empty. And if you pull this rod all the way out, and you look into this bottom port, and let me see if I can get a little light in there for you and bring this up here. Let me switch hands. And bring this up. And I don't know if you can see inside there. But what I did right in there, I put a little mark with a Sharpie, Sharpie pen on the, uh, on the rod itself. So if you look in there and you see that mark, you know you're, you're at the end of the stroke of this thing. And uh, that's why I want to do it this way, so I can just look into that little port and see that mark. And say, okay, it's time to change my uh, wax stick on it. So I'm going to do it that way, put this on here, I'm going to throw a 90 onto this so this faces in a back position like that. And the other problem I'm going to have because of the way my bullet feeder is set up is with this rod down like that. I can't lift this thing up, I don't have enough room, but this is a double acting cylinder. So what I can do from there is I'm just going to make up a, a little plug like this. When I know I'm empty, I'm just going to screw this guy right in like this. I'm going to apply pressure to here. That's going to suck this whole thing right back up. Then I can lift it right out of my unit. So I'm going to get this thing all changed over and I'll show it to you then. 
Okay, I got this all converted over now. I got the uh, regulator in line with the uh, cylinder itself. Moved the plug over to the side. Put my 90 on there. Uh, got the hose hooked up here to do a little test run. So that puts the, uh, the other port right in front. That's where I wanted it. Uh, I got the piston and, uh, all set up at the bottom here. That's tightened up. Uh, so, obviously, you know how this thing works. It'll just, you know, put a little pressure on this and, uh, it'll drive, it'll drive that piston out like that. Okay, now it's in the machine. This is down. I can't remove it because of my, uh, spacing on the, uh, on my bullet feeder. I can't lift this whole long thing up. I can see the little mark inside that hole. So I don't want to leave a fitting in there. I want to be able to see into it. So at that point, what I would do, I would just disconnect my air feed like that. And I made up a little fitting right here for this. So I got my air adapter on it like that. This I would just hand feed in like that. I have a spare regulator. So I can back that pressure off, attach that. And then I just do the opposite. I take my air hose, hook them on the bottom like that, and then when I apply pressure to this one, it pulls pulls the shaft right back in. So there's no fighting with the whole thing. So, like I said, this all, I'll take that off, and I just hand thread that. That allows me to look into this hole here to see that mark. But that'll, that'll streamline it a little bit. So the next thing is uh, to get it hooked up to the machine and check it out there. So that's where we'll go next. Okay, I got the unit hooked up to the uh, star right now. And you can see how it's in line with everything right here. And in the hole right now, the piston is totally straight up. And I don't know if you can see that, but I put a red mark. And that is uh, with the piston all the way up, and I know it's good to pull that way. So, uh, now, uh, I left a couple of tubes off the, off the feeder itself because taking this on and off, I have to take them off. But you can see if you go right up, I have that right over top of that. So with that shaft fully extended, then uh, I can't get this unit out. I did test it once and it uh it worked good. It worked good. So let me uh get the camera in the stand here and I'll uh I'll show you what I got. Okay, I got this all hooked up now. I got the air supply hooked up to it and everything else. Piston is all the way to the uh to the top here. I got that red mark I was showing you. And on the back of the uh star they have a little air vent tube. So when you press your wax down, it has a little place for the air to escape. With my old system, when I was using compressed air, I used to have to take a piece of rubber and a hose clamp and seal that off to make a uh, airtight seal. I don't need that anymore. So just to show you, I'll take a thin rod right here and find that little hole right there. Now I just pushed it into the, uh, into the bore of the tube. And you can see it's stuck in that far so you know the piston is not in the way there so next thing we'll do is we'll start applying pressure to this and right now I'll just put it up to I'll say 40 okay so once again now I'll go back into the air vent tube and this time it only stuck in that far so that's telling me the piston is now down in that area and uh, so now I would release this, say it's, say it's down all the way empty. And I just tried it without the regulator, and I think that might be even easier. So I can just spin this a little bit sideways, just thread this guy in like this. I'll try not to hit the camera. It's really tight in here with all this stuff. And then we'll just go here. And I just tried it like this. I might not even use a regulator now. And just hit this. And you can hear the piston went up. Now when I pull that out. 
and I look inside and I can see my red mark there so now when I go to take this thing off it'll uh, come right up here I don't have to fight anything else so I mean I, you know I didn't want to spend the money I like making my own stuff I didn't want to spend the money buying a unit but uh, I think it's gonna make it easier uh, the one thing I did you know regret after I got the unit was this is an available air piston and it's uh, cheaper than uh, they sell it for but I didn't know that I didn't know anybody but you can see it's right it's right at the top there I did uh, I did take a little material off this high car washer it was extremely tight I just jigged this whole thing up in the lathe and took few thousands off at a time until it felt like it fit fit nice and snug now it fits in there but it's not like jam hard in there so I think this is going to be a nice unit now this should alleviate that air uh, pockets I was getting the bottom because the bleed them out was a major nuisance so uh, that's what's going on in the shop right now pretty soon I'm going to be getting the uh, lead pod out and starting the cast so I just want to get this ready for when I get my bolts cast up. So that's it for now guys. Alright. See you later.